friends and family. How are we doing today? Having a good one? Having a good one? I hope you're having a great one. It better be doing real good. If you're not doing so good, well, let me help you with that a little bit. Look what I did already today. Cleaned up this entire garage. Remember, this place was a huge mess a little while ago. I don't know if you guys remember, but this place was a disaster area. I had, you couldn't even see the floor in here. Plus, my parents are in town. I didn't want them to see the disaster that's the state of my garage. It's something not to be very proud of. So, but I even look at this. I had this little carpet. Keep your footsies nice and clean before you walk up into the snake room. Uh-huh. Hillary doesn't like this carpet, but it's a really nice carpet. I got this thing from my buddy who imports rugs from, where does he get them from? I don't remember exactly where he gets them from. He goes traveling around the world and he gets rugs. And I got this from him. He lives on the big island. And it's been rolled up, packed away because Hillary doesn't want to put it in the house. But I think this is an acceptable spot for it. What do you think about it? I've, I've, now I feel like royalty when I walk into my snake room, you know what I mean? Dun, dun, dun. Good stuff. So yeah, as I mentioned, my parents are in town and they brought some early birthday presents for Mr. Noah Sage. Even though as you're watching this video, his birthday was yesterday. How does that make any sense? It makes sense in my head. I can make it make sense in your head too. We're gonna go check out Noah, open up some of his early birthday presents. I'm also gonna clean the snakes. I'll probably get some help from my parents too, hopefully. Before we get going up there to check out Noah and the presents and all that stuff, we haven't done a Cusco Uncut in quite some time, right? And I, you know, I made a little graphic for it and everything, so hold on just a sec. What are we gonna talk about? <laughs> you know what's something I've been, think I've been thinking about is drama, drama, drama. It's everywhere. You don't even have to look for it. It's everywhere. Drama between friends on Facebook, drama in politics, drama on TV. Everyone gathers around to look at it like we're a bunch of kids seeing our first middle school fight or something, or elementary school even. If the internet is a cup and drama is the wine, well, the cup runneth over. But why? 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 I ask myself this all the time. And I think I know the answer. A friend told me once, drama makes life more interesting, Cusco. And then I told another friend what the other friend had said. And he said, whoever said that sounds like a real idiot. <laughs> and, and now the guy that called the other guy an idiot has more drama in his life than most of the people I know. And I think it comes from the devil inside of us or what many people call a necessary evil. And it is necessary, just as necessary as dark is to light, cold is to warm, or sad is to happy. We need it to compare. That's how our brains work, like it or not. I mean, I think it's important to recognize that the evil lives within each of us. Some people will disagree, and sure, that's your choice to disagree. Oh, he doesn't have an evil bone in his body. Maybe so, but he's at least got some evil white blood cells or something. <laughs> even seeming, even even kids, seemingly innocent, are born with it, and that's that's my toy. I want that toy. I don't want him playing with it. And then he takes all his toys into his room and hoards them. So it's our job to teach our kids how to make the choices when it comes to the right. When it comes to not letting evil get the best of our thoughts and actions, it's up to us to teach our kids. It, to take that to an adult level, you know, this is my world. I, I don't want to share it. I'm taking it over by force. I actually, I actually worry about people that claim to have no evil in them because either A, they're lying, B, they're in denial about who they really are, which is really scary to me, <laughs> or C, they just haven't figured it out yet. Now, just because you have this evil in you, it doesn't make you an evil person. It's, it's what you choose to do with that evil that makes you the person that you are. That evil is there for a reason. It's so you can decide what is right, what is wrong. You make the choice every day to be the person you are or that you're going to be. Everything you do is a choice. Sometimes people will say, I had no choice. And I'm sure I've said it on a couple occasions, but it wasn't, it wasn't true. Uh, it may have been a hard choice, but it was a choice nonetheless. And I've said this before, the minute you realize that everything you do, everything you feel and experience is a choice, that, that is some real power. A power that no one, no one can take away from you. And if you use your power for good, what a wonderful world this would be. Thank you.
Eli, Eli, those are Noah's presents, bud. Noah's birthday. You get your own presents on your birthday, okay? Where is it? <laughs> it's not your birthday. There you are. I want to see. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't see. What is it? Binoculars. What? what? Binoculars? <laughs> oh my goodness. No, these are like real binoculars, but. Glow in the dark stars for your room. You put them on the ceiling, Eli, and at night. You put stickies on the ceiling in your room, and at night they glow. Magnets on the ceiling. I want to see if I can see your eyes through there with the camera. Okay. I don't want to build it right now, please. Sure, Can you help me build it again? Yeah. Oh, I so, this is a little whistle. <laughs> you like. You like. This is brother's birthday present, okay? You Here, you can have the whistle. No. Nope. Hold the whistle. Blow into it. Blow into it. No. I don't want it. Eli, these are brother's birthday presents. You need to wait, okay? Do you need to go sit in your room? I want that. That is brother's birthday present. No, 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 no. You listen to what I'm saying? Yeah. When it's when it's your birthday, you're gonna have presents to open that aren't Noah Sages, okay? Okay. Hey, okay, but it's Noah's birthday right now, okay? Okay. Okay. Mm. Are they gonna be okay? Yeah. Yeah. Can you, can you calm down? And yeah. Stop fussing and stop whining, because if you start fussing, yeah. if you start fussing and whining, you're gonna have to, gonna have to come back in your room. You understand? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you good? Yeah. Give me five. Yeah. You up high? Down low? Oh, too slow. One more time. Give me five. Up high. Down low. Oh, too slow. Give me five. Up high. Down low. Oh, too slow. Give me five. Up high. Down low. Oh, you got me slipping. Oh my gosh. You can help Noah open that one, okay? Yeah. Are you letting your brother open one of your presents? Thank you. That's really nice. Thank you, Noah. Me open this. <gasps> wow. Thank you, oh, open cool. This. It's a mobile make a mobile a model making kit. Is it mine? Yeah. I want to open, oh open this. In a little bit, we'll make it, and you hang it from the ceiling, like. What are you getting into there, Noah Sage? Do you want that one? That'll make Daddy happy. <laughs> <laughs> You're the birthday boy. It's so much fun watching you grow. <coughs> Today you're the king and the star of the show. So have lots of fun, play games, and eat cake too. Everyone is so excited to celebrate you. And we could not be more impressed by the wonderful young boy you are. We love you so much and promise to come visit you at your house really soon. <laughs> oh, it's time to steal my cookie. <laughs> you know what? You know. Can we do this later? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Well, we are visiting Let's from go. Livermore <laughs> and we're going to go on a hike because Noah wanted to go on a hike. Well, I should take it out of four-wheel drive. And he should take it out of four-wheel drive. Well, we're going, going to the Jim Green Trail. Is that where we're going? We are going to the Jim Green Trail. That is where we're going. Uh -huh. It is starting to sprinkle a little bit, so maybe that's not going to be good for us, but hey, maybe it will be great for us. Ooh. Well, we came to visit. We we're hoping that the baby would be coming soon, like today. <laughs> Dad's off to Belgium. Yes. That's why I'm not in frame anymore. I'm <laughs> off to Belgium. He's, he's, he's in there. Don't let him fool you. No, no. It's not real. It's fake news. I'm in <laughs> oh, Belgium. God. What is it about Belgium? Hmm. Well, chocolate. They have good chocolate. I like the beers. The beers are pretty good. And, oh, oh, daughter. Yes, we have a daughter there. Yes. <laughs> 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 and her husband and a granddaughter. 
So yeah, that's the other thing about Belgium besides the waffles and the chocolate and the beer. You know, it's something that's that's funny. What's Speaking funny? of you laughing at yourself. <laughs> oh, where am I right now? Make. I should go this way. Maybe I shouldn't. We'll try it out. We'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, we end up getting there just a little bit slower. Okay, this looks familiar. Yeah, this is the right way. Okay. To go to where... Well, I went the right way to get to where I was going to. I was just going to the wrong place. Well, with this rain, we should have less competition. Mm-hmm. Are we competing with people at the trail? Well, yeah, we're competing to be in nature. Uh -huh. And the more people around, the less nature there is. Because <laughs> people aren't natural? No, people are way unnatural. Uh -huh. Well, now it's really raining. Yes, it is. Well, we can go back and let him nap and then try again, or? <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Hmm? Nice hike, guys. Yeah, that we, was... Whew. We should do it again sometime. Okay. Hey, Noah. No, I go on the hike. Yeah, it was awesome. Did you have fun? We didn't go on the hike. Yeah, we did, it was fun. You don't remember the hike? Mm -mm. No? Oh, man, you must have slept right through it. I was tired. You tired? You want to go for another hike sometime? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe after, you, after you're not so tired? Yeah. Okay. What's this? That's a, a box that you punched a bunch of holes in. Yeah. I bet it's cool and, and there. Snakey, snakey, nuts. This kid is a future snake master, ain't no doubt. Snakey, snakey, yeah, pooder. Snakey's licking at my pooder? Yeah, right there. We think mom, future snake wrangler? Oh yeah, for sure. It's in the jeans. Look at his jeans. Oh, he's not wearing jeans. I'm wearing jeans. You're wearing jeans. You like petting this? Mommy like petting this. I know it's like petting this. What part petting this too? Auntie Karen likes to pet snakes and Uncle Cory. And mommy. Mommy like pet snakes. Mm -hmm. Does daddy like to pet snakes? Mommy pet this kind of snake. Oh yeah? What about daddy? Yeah. yeah. Grandma loves to pet snakes, huh? Um, Does Eli like to pet snakes? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favorite snake, Eli? Yeah. What's your favorite? Um, black snake. The black snake? Yeah. Yeah. What's the black snake's name? Um, one up there. Junior? Yeah. Yeah? That's, yeah. Yeah, he's kind of hanging out right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. <No>. Um. <laughs> great. <laughs> Come on through. Break on through to the other side. She's probably the strongest of all the snakes, like pound for pound. Oh yeah. Yeah. Something Is she about. Full grown. Um, she's gonna I get bigger. Yeah. It's all you. That's all me. But she doesn't want to stay with me. She wants to go away. Put her around your neck. She'll stay. She's a sun glow boa constrictor. Sun. Boa constrictor imperator or imperator, or however you want to say it. What does that mean? It's the species, the subspecies. And how much bigger will she get? Oh, uh, it's debatable. Okay, let's debate about it. You have to be coming from an educated place if you want to debate about it. <laughs> I'm educated. Oh, about <laughs> snakes, not so much. <laughs> Did you know that my mom gets mistaken for my sister's sister all the time? <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna change because I'm gonna go gray. Look, that's three months growth. I don't understand that though, but whatever. Don't understand what? That, why people mistake me. Brown people genetics. Brown people genetics. I'm enjoying it, but now I'm ready to be. White hair genetics. are into snakes, you're into snakes. Kids into reggae, you're into reggae. Did her eye color change? Check it out, my dad's got Elvis. <laughs> or vice versa. Notice I'm not around his neck. <laughs>
<laughs> Go for that fuzzy rabbit up on top of the camera. French kiss you gave me there. Elvis. It's not French. It's Memphis. So my dad was potentially going to take this guy home at one point, but I don't know. What do you think? I don't have the facilities. I need something that's native to California. Like an Arizona Mountain King. <laughs> <laughs> cool though. Like you can tell you got a snake, not a large worm. <laughs> not a pencil. <laughs> He's a little bigger than a pencil now. He's about four foot. And he never wraps himself around my neck like this. <laughs> <laughs> Plus you took the cage back. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't fit in that little aquarium thing I got. So the dwarfs are supposed to be more aggressive? Uh, no, they just, I think that some of the dwarf locais were a little more closer to the wild caught variety. Ah, so okay. they're smaller, they're a little more energetic. Oh. <laughs> like that. He's, he's going for that fan. Yeah. He's getting it too. That's what he pulled. He grabbed it and pulled. The fan's off, by the way, guys. Yeah, you can see the retiarius in him, for sure. The, the net. net pattern. Yeah. How much do you handle him? Every so often. He was handled yesterday, and whatever he needs cleaning. There's a bluebird on my shoulder. See, this snake has really mellowed out on my dad. I'm just kind of cruising, hanging out. Look, look at this guy. He's found his little comfy place up in the crevices of uh, <laughs> my dad's neck and hair area. He's your friend now. That's what they all say. I found my comfy place up in your crevices. Is this children's TV? Crevice is uh, totally PG. Apparently, some people think that's what Glenn means. It's not really. It's the flat part in between the valley. It's not a crevice. Where's his head? Right behind your head. Oh, okay. I got your back. Yeah, he's just completely chilling out. Is this the Belgian version of uh, Halo? I think it's like the Hindi version of carpet or something. Oh, not carpet. Yeah. Holly. Oh, it's Kali is the one that's a bringer of death and destruction. Right. Holly is just a mispronunciation. <laughs> uh, I think it's Turkish, actually. The Turkish, Turkish word for carpet. Well, I thought that was carpet. Check out that crevice. Huh? Add these here. And these? Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with the fam today, getting some snake action in. Maybe one day you guys will get to see our new baby girl. Who knows? You know? But Hillary's starting to think that she's reached some kind of divine state where she's just going to be pregnant forever. And she'll never ever have the baby and she'll just remain in this constant state of pregnant and just become some, some kind of, uh, I don't know, deity or something. <laughs> But <laughs> I don't know how valid that is, but she said it, not me. Whatever you guys are doing today, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're doing what people you love. And I hope we brought a little more joy into your day. If we didn't, we did our best to bring you laughter, joy, and happiness. What else could we have possibly done to make their days more enjoyable and happy and full of... I mean, you got snakes, you got, you got laughter, you got... Oh, did we laugh? I may have cut out all the laughter, actually. Sorry about that. Out of the blue you win and I was